there's not really a standard way that chemists draw reactions and write reactions. So you'll see some interesting permutations of where reagents and where solvents and where uh, catalysts go. So for this particular reaction here, there is this, um, this methyl ester reacting with uh, LiI, lithium iodide. It's run in DMF with this triangle. This triangle symbolizes heat. We add heat to a particular reaction. And out of it, we get this carboxylate. Now, yes, the stoichiometry should be balanced in this case. So there is methyl iodide that gets released from this reaction, but it's not shown in the stoichiometry. So beware that even if it's not written there, still make sure the stoichiometry is balanced so you know where everything goes. And in this case, the LII is written to the left of a reaction arrow. However, chemists could also write that particular reaction in this second case by putting that lithium iodide above the arrow it means exactly the same thing. So don't get tripped up if you see them looking different. Also, sometimes chemists will combine reactions to occur with just one particular arrow, and they denote this with numbers. So if there's a sequence of reaction steps, the first reaction sequence, shown here with one, then a two. So not all of these reagents are going in at exactly the same time. Reaction one is occurring first, then it's followed by reaction two. So whenever you see those numbers, don't add everything in at once. They're occurring sequentially. I mentioned that DMF is a common organic solvent, but how do you know what solvents there are? You may see DMF and think, what is that? Is that a reagent? I'm not sure. So we provided you with a list of common organic solvents. You can always check this out by going to this website here. And you can check some properties of these solvents. So for example, acetic acid, acetone, we have DMF, dimethylformamide, shown here. And this list will let you know of some of the shorthand notations you'll see and also some of the common organic solvents. Typically the solvents don't get involved in the reaction itself, but they're there in order to facilitate the reaction to go much more quickly. No need to memorize. I recommend having this website available for you when you're looking at reactions. So hopefully this webcast gives you an idea of some of the shorthand notations involved in writing organic uh, equations and reactions. 